Hi, I'm Ty, and welcome to the Tech Club. Today I've got a fix for something I think a lot of people have been waiting on. Games for Windows Live is known for stopping people from playing certain games on Windows 10. If you go look on the forums, you're gonna find a lot of people that say that this does not work on Windows 10, but then you're gonna find people that say it works just fine for them. So what's going on here? The version is what's going on. If you're on Windows 10, from what I understand, there's only one version of Games for Windows Live that you can actually run. That version is version 3.5.95.0. Okay, so then let's go to Microsoft's website and let's go download it, right? No, but why? And that's a good question, but you gotta ask Microsoft because for some odd reason, they removed all of the download links that they have on their websites to this version of the software. And I think to all of the games for Windows Live software. So what are we left to do? Just gonna go and check out third party sites and try some downloads and hope we don't get some virus or something? That's just not appealing to me. So my solution was to look for a game on Steam currently that you can go buy right now and it has to have the proper version of Games for Windows Live to be installed. So that way, if you get this game, you're gonna get the Games for Windows Live uh, little file that you can double click and then you can install and you can go ahead and refund the game. After about maybe 20 minutes of searching, it turns out I actually had one of the games that I could do that with. And it turns out to be flat out Ultimate Carnage. So here, let me show you real quick how to get to the file. And that's what it looks like. So that's what you're gonna double click and you're just gonna go through the install process. It's gonna install games for Windows Live, but it's going to be the proper version. So before you do all this though, I do wanna point out if you have Games for Windows Live or Games for Windows Live Marketplace, go ahead and uninstall those and then restart your computer before installing this. The only thing that's gonna do is just try and make it so that there's no interference and no issues when you install this. It should be a nice clean install. So that's how you fix it. Go ahead and try the other games that weren't working before because of games for Windows Live not working, and they should work just fine now. As for Flat Out, yes, you can refund it. It's a $20 game, but if you wait until it goes on sale, it goes on sale for 90% off sometimes, so two bucks. And in all honesty, support the developers. It's not a bad game, and they had the file that you really needed and it's not coming from some third party random site where you have to be sketched out. So I really hope this helps at least one person. Anyway, I'm Ty, and this has been The Tech Mom. I'll catch you guys on the next one.